Hey guys, today I just wanted to do a super simple video. If you watch this channel for a little bit now, you know that I'm a huge fan of DaVinci Resolve. And in this video, I just wanted to tell you why you don't need to buy the full version. First of all, DaVinci is a perfectly capable editing software. You can do everything that you can do in Premiere Pro and most likely Final Cut as well. I can't say that completely because I haven't used Final Cut myself, but coming from Premiere Pro myself and switching onto DaVinci and onto the free version to begin with, I found nothing that I really couldn't do. And actually I found some features that I was doing in After Effects that was just built into DaVinci Resolve, something like text appearing on the screen like it's written or words appearing in an easy way. That's something that I used to do in After Effects because I simply couldn't do that in Premiere Pro. And I still have the paid version of Premiere Pro, but honestly, I haven't touched it for six months now since I switched to DaVinci. And for the first majority of those six months, I used the free version. And there's only a few things that you can't do. One of them could be vertically, you can't do 4K. You're limited to 1080p. You can do 4K in, in like the horizontal mode, but you're limited to how many pixels you can do on the tall side. I don't know what that's called, but that's simply for me, that hasn't been an issue. I've just been exporting everything for real, TikToks whatsoever in 1080p, scaled down from my 4K footage and it's worked perfectly fine. And also when I've shot with my drone that can't do vertical, I have to do 1080p anyway, because otherwise I'll be losing resolution when I'm scaling it up. There are a few things that you are missing out on in the free version, but you aren't missing out on that much. And just thinking about how much you can do for free is, quite incredible. You have a perfectly capable editing part where you can just cut and edit however you want. You can even do speed ramping and stuff that I found a little bit more tricky to do in Premiere Pro. I used to do those in After Effects as well. You have Fusion that is kind of like software built into DaVinci that you can kind of compare to After Effects as well, I guess. I haven't explored it much yet, but I know that you can do an insane amount of things in there as well. And you have so much room and so much space to work with in the free version. So that's building, that's something that isn't in Premiere Pro or Final Cut, you'll have to do that somewhere else. Then you have the color grading page and the color grading page alone is incredible. In the free version, you can do anything and you can do more than you could do in Premiere Pro. For me, Lumetri Color can go home. Of course, you are limited to the effects that you can put on and some of the more advanced features. And that's what we'll go into now in terms of like why you would buy the paid version. But in my honest opinion, humble opinion, the free version is perfectly, perfectly fine. And I didn't buy the full version up until just a couple of weeks ago, honestly. And the first five and a half, six months that I've been using DaVinci, it's been just the free version. and. I haven't been missing much. That's until I bought the pay version, figured out how many awesome tools that are built into DaVinci when you buy the full version. And it's not even a subscription. You buy it one time, then you got it, which is, I love that. It's a bit more expensive, of course, but in the long run, it'll save you money if you use Premiere for years ahead. So the one thing that I will say before I tell you about the three main features that has been a game changer for me in terms of buying the paid version, I will say that all of these features are quite demanding on my computer and I have the MacBook Pro 14 inch M1 Max. So it's quite a powerhouse. And when I start applying some of the more advanced or more heavy effects inside of DaVinci, uh, that's when my computer starts struggling. So I will say before I show you these three features that I absolutely love inside the paid version that if you have a computer where you can just barely go by with editing now, or you can see that it's already struggling a little bit if you're doing something like 4K footage or maybe DJI footage, which the codec is a little bit more demanding, I wouldn't recommend upgrading to DaVinci because you will not really get the full effect of these tools. Of course, you can still use them, but they will just slow down everything on your computer while you're using them. So at least you'd have to apply them at the end or have them turn off while you do most of your editing and then you can turn them on at the end when you render. Uh, that is an option, but I would just say that if you don't have a powerful computer, save the money, use the free version and be a little bit, but only a little bit more limited in what you can do. So without postponing anymore, let me just tell you the free features that has really 
save me buying the paid version and why I think it's, it's so worth it. The first one is the noise reduction. That's the first thing that I realized I needed and I didn't have, and I have it on here. So if I just go full screen, you can see over here that it's quite noisy in the darker parts here. And that's because it was shot at sunset, but we didn't really have much sun left. So if I turn on the noise reduction, you can see how most of that disappears. And I haven't really worked much with the effect right now, basically just applied it and turn it up to 100 but it's really doing a great job of like smoothing out everything and making the footage look so much better that is the first thing that i was really missing and i saw it in there and every time i tried to apply it it just say hey it's time to upgrade for the full version and yeah i quite frankly i didn't have the money and i didn't want to upgrade yet but having done this and having shot quite a bit of footage in recent time that has been noisy because there hasn't been enough light this has been a game changer and a lifesaver. But if you shoot most of your footage in great exposure, you, you don't really need this tool. And you can try and avoid all of these things, just not shoot if there's not enough light, or work with the noisy footage. I did that in the beginning as well. You have the blurry tool that you can kind of use, it kind of works, but then you have to do some masking and stuff. And we can get into that in another video if you want that. You can leave that question down in the comments uh, or that request and I'll be happy to show you how how we can go around doing some kind of noise reduction without actually doing the noise reduction. Anyway, let's jump to the second tool that I really love using and I honestly didn't even know this existed before I bought the paid version. Let me just show you what it is. So it's called Magic Mask and it's an extra pane that you get here. And what you can see here is I've just drawn like a blue line here on me. And if I turn it on, you can actually see that I just did a small S curve. But if I click Shift H, you can see what it's done and it's perfectly selected me from just that line. So let me just show you what it does. So I'll click this off, I'll turn this one off and then click Shift H and you can see now everything is selected. So clicking back, just gonna draw a line down here and it's just perfectly selected me. And I can even go in and say better and that will smoothen out the edges a little bit. It'll make it more demanding, but just being able to draw one line and then being able to track it, we can just, I think, track it backwards a few frames. It's just perfectly selecting this. That's an incredible tool. Honestly, like I have used this almost every single day, at least when I have a subject in my footage, just to kind of like do small adjustments on the subject. And I used to do something before with power windows and qualifiers, and that worked more or less perfectly fine as well. It was just a lot more work. So I did get around doing similar things before without having the magic mask. The magic mask is just, <laughs> it's incredible. It's so easy to use and you can just draw more lines if it doesn't select everything in the beginning. This tool itself is, is worth buying the paid version, but I will say mostly if you have a powerful computer, because as soon as you start tracking that, it takes quite a while, even for my computer now. And if you do any adjustments to the notes before, you have to do it again. So it's quite a hassle to figure out how to work with it the best and when to track. So the last one, the last tool is kind of similar to this one. So this is uh, an effect again, it's the depth map. And if I turn it on, I've only tweaked it a little bit to say where the file limit is, but this just with, I think AI or something like that, interprets the image to say, what is far away and what is near. And then you can by putting in the parameters, help the software figure out what it is that you want to select. And this is kind of another way to track something if you have a subject that's in a part of your image or maybe you want some text behind your subject, this is a way to do it. I haven't used it much also because I have the magic mask and that's what I've been using more. And it's quite a powerful tool, but it can get everything that is kind of like on one line. So if you see it as kind of like a cheese, then you slice it up and you can kind of select one slice with this depth map, which is, yeah. It's super cool. So those are the free tools that I've been super happy to get after I bought the full version of DaVinci. But I will say there's one last thing that made the decision for me, and that's that I want to do more professional editing and color grading work moving forward, doing it freelance. And I kind of had this feeling that if I was to do something for a client and I kind of got limited at some point and they found out somehow, I don't know how they should, but 
found out that I only had the free version, I kind of feel like it would be not offending enough. So that's kind of a reason why I bought it as well. It's it's the least reason, I think, because I wanted the other features and I just wanted the full program, to be honest. Uh, after using it for six months in the free version, I, I felt like it was finally time to upgrade and get the full power and full width of DaVinci Resolve. And I'm super happy that I did. But just to tell you that like these free tools, you can go around without using those. It might require a little bit more work and tweaking with some of the other tools, but you only have those edge cases where maybe your exposure wasn't correct and you have too much noise or something like that, where it's super handy to have a tool, but you can have third party plugins for that as well. That might be cheaper than buying the full version if you only need like the noise reduction or something like that. So that's my take on why you shouldn't buy DaVinci Resolve and also maybe a little bit why you maybe you should consider buying it at some point. But saying that, starting out with the free version, perfectly, perfectly capable, amazing. Even if you're just starting out, I would start out with DaVinci. Don't pay for Final Cut or Premiere Pro. Just get the free version of DaVinci Resolve and start learning how to edit. So that's my take on DaVinci Resolve and why you shouldn't or should buy the paid version. I hope it helped you out. I hope it's something you like. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. And if you have any questions in regards to DaVinci Resolve or something else, leave it down in the comment. I'm always happy to help out and answer your questions. So until the next time, take care. <music>